Morning boys and girls, Nick with Thick and Rugged Outdoors. Um, it is another cold morning in November. I'm excited, I'm happy. Uh, just stopped and got gas this morning. It's like 5, 5.10, 5.15, somewhere in there. Um, I ain't gonna sit here and all I gag a whole lot longer because as you know, with daylight savings times, a lot of us deer hunters get kind of aggravated, maybe because we have got to get up an hour earlier to get back where we need to be in the woods. So I still have like a half hour drive down to this hunting spot. And I think I'll be, I'll be skinning teeth for uh, daylight breaking and me in the woods, which honestly don't matter to me because uh, you get there when you get there and what happens happens. So anyway, I just got gas, got some snacks, got breakfast, turn this, worthless heat off my heat stopped working i guess in my truck so that's nice so we're gonna floor it get down here and uh get to killing some big monster bucks this morning i've seen a bunch moving already this morning. see i knew i'd be cutting it close with uh beating the sunrise or the gray light but as you can see i'm i'm already in the shooting time here about five minutes drive up the road here to my hunting spot if I can get in, get dressed real, get out, get dressed real quick, and get in the woods really fast. Uh, my feet are a little cold. I wish this heat in my truck actually worked great. Right. But anyway, it just goes to show you got to plan a little better sometimes. I ain't the best at that. I have no idea what happened. It's been sitting in my bow case since Tuesday when I last used it. I opened the bow case, picked my release up to go put it on my wrist and that pin just fell right out. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna have to figure something out here. Hopefully nothing. Hopefully nothing shows up, I guess. I can go to the hardware store or something, buy a little bolt put in there, but... If I don't make you mad, I don't know what would. Okay. While I was sitting here patiently waiting I think I fixed my release I found some some cord in my backpack I fed it through and tied it a few times I'm gonna try to put my bow back now it's a little bulky but I think it'll work just until I buy a new one tonight or tomorrow If it works, it's not stupid. Okay, so I moved <clears throat> about 150 yards towards the east from where I was this morning. The reason for that is because I got tired looking at the same thing. Um, I'm kind of 
between two bedding areas now. You know, I usually sit back off those a good bit, I mean, 150 yards. But as you see behind me, it starts a real thick cover. There's a little creek right here. And there's a good trail, a good trail about 40 yards out here in front of me. Going to this bedding area over here. And I've seen deer travel right through here a good bit in the evenings. So, I figured this was a better spot just because of my new scenery. So, stay here about 45 minutes or so, do some calling, see what happens. Go from there. I'm not going to sit out past noon today, I don't think. So, we'll check back with you in a bit when we got a big buckle on the ground, hopefully. I'm feeling pretty confident that was a good hit. But there was three deer, not just two. I hope I got it on film. Okay, I'm gonna look for this deer now. I was standing right there behind this behind this mound of dirt or that root ball. I have to try to get up here. It's a little swampy back here. She was standing right up in there. Some big deer tracks. I know I hit her, but the shot might have been a little far front. So, somewhere right in here. I think back here, maybe. Okay. So, I had to restart my blood track because the point of impact over here, there was one little drop and some hair. And I went the wrong direction for some reason. I couldn't find blood. I went back and watched the video. Then got it, I got it on film. And as soon as I shot, she jumped to the left and started going straight. So I want some blood now. There's a bunch right there. So I'm gonna keep tracking this. I can see some up there. She probably stayed in the thick stuff. That's why I didn't see anything. I was like 10 yards that way. So blood here. Oh, she went back up the hill here. Oh, there she is right there. Oh, there she is. Right there. By God. 
thick and rugged outdoors finally finally has a deer on film getting shot with the compound bow in Maryland <laughs> make sure she's dead here well there you have it nice healthy doe in Maryland uh, I'm done buck hunting pretty much but in reality if a buck walks out and I got a tag I'll fill it same thing goes for does I got 15 doe tags to fill freezers to fill so she's a little young but you know what I'm happy I got it on film I watched her come in from like 200 yards away I'm just <laughs> I'm ecstatic you know I just I'm happy um, this morning I got out of the truck a little later than I wanted to and got dressed got my bow and all that stuff and my release was broken I was like, man, I hope nothing big walks in here that, that's 30 yards plus, you know, because uh, I, I wouldn't have got it. I can shoot three fingers, but I can't shoot, you know, three fingers past 20, 30 yards. So I told myself this morning, 20 yards max. And I was sitting there thinking to myself, how can I fix this release with what I have on me? And I found some cord. I fed the cord through the, the bolt hole and tied it off and it, <laughs> I moved spots because I was like, I'm not going to see anything right here because where I'm at, I moved 50 yards out and then within 15 minutes, I seen her way, way back in the woods here. It was her and a small one. <clears throat> and then I guess it was a buck, a small buck or something come trotting through here, pushed them around this knoll and brought her and her young one to my left and you see on camera she came the way i walked in pretty much almost and i drew back and she was nervous about something i'm not sure what she was nervous about but she was nervous about something and it just worked out beautifully just took two more steps and i just perfect shot right behind the shoulder caught some good long i might have caught the heart i'm not sure yet but she's a good 100 pound doe and i'm satisfied so I'm gonna drag this thing on back to the back to the truck here about 200 yards away. <laughs> ¶¶